By the age of 12, 13, I was starting to take a keen interest in makeup for myself. Not that I was allowed to use it at that time, no. But my mother would have these women's magazines and they always had a beauty section. And I would immediately go to that section and they would talk about skin care and different types of foundations, powders, eyeshadows, and I was enthralled with all that. The first item I had of makeup was about when I was 13 and I had a pressed powder. It was probably a neutral color. And I also remember getting some pale pink pearl nail polish. And at Christmas time, people started giving me gifts of bath cubes, bath salts, and talcum powder. My favorite scents were sandalwood, lily of the valley, and violet. When I was 14, I was allowed to wear lipstick to church on a Sunday. And I remember on Monday, I would put on a little bit for school. And at supper time, my father would say, Oh, did you wear lipstick today? And I would say, Oh no, it must be left over from yesterday. <laughs> By the age of 16, I started wearing pressed powder to school. I would wear eyeshadow, often a blue eyeshadow in those days, and mascara and eyeliner. I never wore foundation when I was a teenager, but many of my friends did, and I remember a lot of them used the CoverGirl foundation. The CoverGirl foundation in those days had a really strong smell, not really a pleasant smell, but I'll never forget that smell. The first mascara available was a Maybelline product. It was a cake style, and it had a little brush, and you would wet the brush and then rub that onto the cake and apply it to your lashes. I don't think I ever used that one. I think by the time I started using mascara, it was in a tube with a brush. But I do remember at one time, white lipstick was in fashion, and I would wear white lipstick. Around that time, I started taking care of my skin. I would use Nivea, Pond's Cold Cream, and of course, Noxema. But there weren't the number of products that there are available these days. Those are about the only three I can really remember. I didn't use sunscreen though. Most of us didn't. There weren't even that many available at that time. But I didn't really enjoy sunbathing. I didn't find that sitting in the sun was a whole lot of fun. So fortunately, I don't have a whole lot of damage from the sun on my face. During the 1960s, my mother had an Avon lady. And oh boy, that was a treat when she visited our house and we would sit around the kitchen table and look at her samples and go through the latest book. I believe my mother used Skin So Soft Moisture Cream and I also tried a few perfumes. My favorite, and still to this day, was Moon Wind. I have a vintage bottle of that and I still love it. These are some of my first experiences with makeup and skincare and I still love those. And I've worn makeup and taken care of my skin my whole life. I wore makeup every single day. But I seldom wore foundation until about 10 years ago and I seldom used blush. But in fact, in the last 10 years, I use more products and spend more time using makeup than I ever did in my whole life. Why? Because I have the time now that I'm retired. What are some of your first experiences with makeup? Won't you share in the comments?